Hello and welcome back to another episode of Overwatch. Today I want to talk about Junkrat, the changes, and why I picked him as my main. Because I've been maining Junkrat since Season 4. That was my first season where I played competitive. I started playing Overwatch in Season 3, but I didn't play competitive. But that's not the point. I picked Junkrat because originally I wanted to main Pharah, and she was just a cool character. I thought I would really enjoy playing Pharah. But... The playstyle with Farah just wasn't really for me, I guess, because just the way the projectiles work just weren't that appealing, and they seemed really simple, I guess. It's not like I'm calling Farah easy or really simple, because there are some really good Farah players. Like, I've seen the air shots that they can get, and that's incredible, I like that. It's just Farah is not the hero for me, but the way Junkrat's grenades bank and his mine, his trap, his tire, the way you can use the tire. It was just all so appealing to me that I picked him, and I'm very glad that I did. I still am technically a flex player, like I tank, I heal, I really do whatever I have to, but I really like Junkrat the most. And I'd say the reason for that is because he was fairly easy to pick up. Like, when I just started playing him, I didn't have that bad of a time. Like, I was doing my job. And then... As I got a little bit better, like I don't really want to call myself really good at Junkrat because I still have a lot to practice, but as I got better, I just did that much better, like I was performing the roles that I needed to and more, and I think that's good about a hero when you're picking them, but lately, ever since the new season started, a lot of people have been playing Junkrat and that's led to a lot of people complaining about Junkrat too. I think the issue with people is they considered Junkrat a troll pick, and a lot of people did, they still do, and whatever, nothing's really going to change that, at least for a while. So when Junkrat suddenly starts being close to on par with a soldier in terms of performance, then they get a little bit scared, like it's like, oh, that's not a troll pick anymore, and they want it drastically nerfed, and I think that's a big problem because then it just goes right back to the character not being good, and maybe in some cases worse. So if you're one of the people that suggests Junkrat needs to be nerfed, I really want you to consider, like I'm not disagreeing with you, I'm really not. He's my main, but I still think he could be a little bit weaker and still do well, because before the buff, he was doing well if you knew how to play him, but now he's really dominating. But if you're suggesting that Junkrat needs to be nerfed, again, not disagreeing with you, then I really want you to consider all possibilities on how he could be nerfed, and I really want everyone to focus on everything that could be nerfed, because, for example, there's no damage falloff on his concussive mine, it just does flat 120 damage, and that could be a good nerf if it's done really well, because the trap is really reliant on the concussive mine, the trap does 80 damage, the concussive mine does 120 it's a really good combo but if you start messing with fall off damage which would effectively nerf the concussive mine damage overall but it would still be 120 damage then the trap combos wouldn't work and he would be considerably less effective so you really have to just think about how everything would affect it and I really hope everyone can come up to a solution that everyone agrees with because obviously like with Roadhog then that became really bad but if you just come up with the best solution that you can and if the devs think it's balanced then that's great and everyone's happy hopefully and if Junkrat were to be nerfed I honestly wouldn't complain as long as it's not an enormous nerf as long as his grenade launcher doesn't do a considerably less amount of damage because there's all of his one-hit combos like the grenade and then a mine grenade and trap there are just so many bread and butter combos that shouldn't be messed with and it's just really delicate in terms of balancing so I hope everyone can come up to a solution but that's just my own little rant I hope someone learned from it in some way I don't know I just thought I would share my opinion as a Junkrat main, and people probably don't value it, but that's whatever. 
I understand that. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!